white people oppress us. The way you owned us, you act like you believe in justice until it come to us. We're going to own you like you owned us. And it's going to be righteous in the earth. We in the land of the Lord. What? In the land of the Lord. The day is coming for nuclear war when the land of Israel shall go to war with the world. And after that day, we're going to take over the land of Israel. That's right. And we're going to bring you white people to your captivity. And you gonna, we're going to own you like you own your pedigree dogs in the Westminster Dog Show. Wow, that's funny. Because I don't remember seeing that in the Bible. He proves we don't that own he wants white to own slaves just like the racist Ku Klux Klan. They are no different than the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, I would definitely agree with the brother who's actually out there exposing the black people, Israelites, who are saying they're going to own uh, 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 white people when uh, when Jesus Christ comes back. They're no better than the uh, Ku Klux Klan. They're preaching hatred. They're not preaching the truth and love. They're preaching another, uh, another gospel. The last time I checked in Galatians uh, chapter 1, I believe verse 9 it says, As we said before, so now I say again, if any man preach any other gospel unto unto you than what ye have received, let him be accursed. And these Hebrew Israelites certainly are preaching a different gospel. How are we going to own you? What? For service. We know. Like slaves, black man. Don't let nobody lie to you about the Bible. Christianity, as you've been taught in America, is a dirty, stinking, homosexual religion. That's right. Christianity is a dirty, stinking, homosexual religion. Wow. You guys really don't know nothing about Christianity, do you? And for those of you who don't know, these guys are in New York in Times Square. They're actually in my backyard. Um, typically, I'll be in that area. But uh, usually, usually um, when I'm out there asking the tough questions, they don't like to say anything to me. Uh, because they don't particularly like the fact that an African-American man is exposing them. But uh, I have to correct you guys. Uh, Christianity is not a, 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 a homosexual um, religion. Um, and the vast majority of the world knows that. What I'm very interested in is how how did you come to the conclusion that Christianity is a dirty, stinking, homosexual religion? It's a religion that tells blacks and Hispanics, forget about what happened to you. You got to love everybody. But the same bastard that had you in chains, he's a Christian. He gets to go to heaven after Okay, when exactly is he going to get to the actual gospel of Jesus Christ? When is he going to start talking about the sins of humanity, not just the sins of the people that are listening to him, but his personal sins and the sins of the guy who's holding the Bible, who's reading like, Thus saith the Lord and thus saith the Lord. When is he going to get to the fact that we have all sinned and has fallen short of the glory of God? When is he going to get to the fact that even he deserves to be punished by Almighty God and that apart from Jesus Christ, there is no salvation? There is no hope without Jesus Christ. For broad is the road that leads to destruction and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. When is he going to get to that? Because it sounds like to me, the only thing he's interested in, or the only thing that he wants to talk about is being bitter about what happened 200 years ago in this country. Having your fathers as a slave? Damn that. That's, that's a lie. It ain't according to the Bible. According to the Bible, the Lord said that the children of Israel, with you black men, you the children of Israel. You the tribe of Judah. Hispanics, West Indians, Native Indians, y'all the 12 lost tribes of Israel. These child molesters been shoveling this garbage for 2,000. By the way, even if I was uh, of the tribe of Judah, simply because of my skin color, that doesn't guarantee me, that doesn't guarantee the fact that I'm going to get into heaven. No, my friend, the only way you can become a child of God is if you're born again. Not born of the will of the flesh, but the, but of the will of the spirit. And that is found in John chapter 3. Try to remember that the next time you go out there and you choose to speak to a large group of people. Secondly, just because you might 
and the key word is might be Jewish, does not mean you're going to heaven. Just saying. And they shall take him. We was the captains. And we gonna take them captains. And what? And they shall rule. What? They shall rule. Read it again. And they shall rule. We've been your slaves. But now we gonna be your ruler. You devils. We gonna rule you. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is it? Why is it when a black man acts for justice is hatred? Right. It ain't personal right. to you white people. There is nothing wrong with asking God for justice. In fact, if you pray, God may actually give it to you. You may not get it when you want it, but he may actually give it to you. But what you're doing out there on the street and what you're talking about on the street is unbiblical, is untrue. And when Jesus Christ returns to this world, nothing you're saying, I mean literally, nothing you are saying in this video is actually going to happen okay then you're asking you know uh um um why is it hatred when 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 black men ask for justice my friend is hatred when you're going out there and you're lying about a group of people that's out there when you say that salvation is not for caucasian people that's hatred that's lying that's of the devil okay in fact it will make you a lawbreaker, according to um, James chapter two verse ten. The Bible says that 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 um that that if you're going to keep the law, you have to keep all of it. Therefore, you can't be lying out there. God hates a lying tongue, and you're out there lying right now, saying that you're going to be putting these people into captivity. If you go read if you go read uh, Revelation chapter um I believe it's chapter nineteen when Jesus Christ returns to the world, nothing like that is actually happening. And if I got that scripture wrong, you'll notice it on the top that I correct myself there. But um. Definitely, when Jesus Christ returns to this world, it, it ain't going to be about enslaving nobody. It's going to be about him judging sinners. And my friend, the way you're talking, you're going to be on the top of the list. People, you white people have done nothing personal to me. But you did do something evil to God's chosen people. Prove that any of these That's people That's what you are did. You're a liar. You want me proven? You want me proven? You want me proven? Also, to show you that you're a false teacher, sir, you just mentioned Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21, which, which is a prophecy about what's going to happen to the king of Babylon. You're not talk uh, that that scripture is not talking about uh, uh, a particular uh, a, a group of people. It's talking about the king of Babylon and the Babylonians and how God was going to pass judgment on them. OK, where are you getting where are you getting that that scripture is used for God dealing with uh, 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 people that was in, uh, the, the people in this country that enslaved black people. How are you getting the connection with this? Again, the passage of scripture that you're reading deals with the with the judgment that God is going to pass on 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 the king of Babylon. Where are you getting this information that somehow God's going to now just take this because this is this sounds good for your argument that you're making right now? Uh, that he's going to take this passage of scripture and use it for the people that enslave people here in America. You're a false teacher. You're not going into what those scriptures mean. What those scriptures mean. Rather, what you're doing is you're trying to look good in front of those people that are listening to you. And if I was out there, I would point that out. And I will also remind you that you're not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm still waiting for you to do that. Prepare slaughter. What does it mean when you slaughter something? Like you go to a slaughterhouse? What does it mean? That means you massively kill. What is God saying? Pre Prepare slaughter. Meaning what? Let the world know this. Whoa. 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 Tell him where you at. Isaiah chapter 14. In the verse 2. Read it again. And they shall take them captive. This is God talking. Shall take them captives. Read on whose captives they were. Who 
the wall. Why? Because God is preparing the earth for a massive slaughter. Relief. For what? For the iniquity. For what? For the iniquity of, of their father. These devils going to pay for what they daddy did for that lying bastard. Right. They going to pay for what they fathers did. Yes. It is apparently obvious this man doesn't know what the gospel of Jesus Christ, and it is apparently obvious that he doesn't want to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm not going to keep repeating the same thing. You guys already know what he's talking about. He's talking about, you know, being bitter about being slaves 200 years ago. Um, the fact of the matter is this, guys. We're all sinners. We have all sinned against God. Romans uh, 3, um, verse 23. There are none of us are good. There are none that is righteous before Almighty God. Um, Romans chapter 3, verse 10. According to Romans chapter 6, I believe verse 23 or verse 26, I believe it's verse 23 though, where it says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Did you catch that? The wages of sin is death, meaning if we continue and remain in our sins, the wrath of God will be poured upon us during the, during the day of judgment. And if we continue to live, the, live our lives the way we want to, we will be punished. But for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe on the Lord Jesus Christ will have eternal life. For John chapter 3 verse 18 says that he who believeth is not condemned. But he who believeth not is condemned already because he or she has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. How many times did you hear the black Hebrew Israelites mention that? How many times do you hear them call everybody names and make false judgments about people in this video? Keep that in mind when you see them on the street. Do not be afraid of the black Hebrew Israelites. Just simply call them out on their sins and they will have nothing to say to you. And until next time, guys, this has been another edition of our Preaching to the Choir Ministries telling you to read your Bible in context and do what it says.